butter them here around the Sydney. I'm going to make some uh, vegetable and prawn spring rolls. And I'm using all the uh, vegetables out of my garden, so I'm just using what's available at the time. So I've got about 13 uh, of these prawns here. I've deveined them and cleaned them up some. I'm just going to cube these and uh, have them ready to put in. So we're just keeping little cubes like that. So, uh, so we'll come back when they're all done. Okay, so we're doing the last one now. So uh, what we're going to do is move across to my mixing bowl. And I've got the rest of the ingredients here. You want to come around, Mark? I've got the... Uh, I'm just going to put them in here. Yeah. I've got... To add to that, I've got one... The, uh, the, the corn's been cooked. That's just the cob. Uh, the kernels of one good sized cob of young sweet corn. The super sweet. Now I've got oh, about a, just a small amount of spinach that's been cooked. I've got one good sized shallot uh, chopped up. I've got um, oh, about half a cup of sweet potato mash. We've got oh, oh, a good handful of spring onions that's chopped up. Nice young spring onions. We've got um, one egg that's going to go in there. got one garlic clove. Good size one. And uh, I've got some sweet chilli sauce here that we've we made a couple of weeks ago. And we're gonna put well this is quite hot this one. It's uh, got chocolate habanero in it and the boot jalokia and it turned out quite hot so I'm only going to put about a teaspoon of this in there just to give it a bit of a kick so uh, yeah, we're going to put maybe about a, well, about a tablespoon of sugar in here a teaspoon of salt so we'll, we'll come back about a, you've got it so we've got about half a teaspoon of salt we're just putting about a tablespoon of olive oil in it now I'm just going to work out how much liquid we how much now I'm going to just combine all these ingredients and uh, Put about a handful of self-raising flour in with it, just to uh, bind it together. I'm not going to overdo it, and uh, I'll put that. I'll put that in now. The smell coming out of there that would be beautiful. Mm, it looks very nice. Just about a handful, just a bit of binding, and. Uh, I'm going to make a, an Asian dipping sauce uh, for dipping these in. It's, um, this, this might not be a traditional recipe, but, uh, but for me it's just using the ingredients out of my veggie garden. That's the big novelty. Show you. We'll come back when we re okay. One all right. So we just uh, got the spring roll pastry covered up by the towel here, so it won't dry out. 
And uh, we've got okay. So we've got the uh, spring roll pastry like this, and uh, we're putting a, a couple of spoons of food in a bit of a line there. There's pr uh, bits of prawn mixed all the way through it, so uh, you're just going to bring that tightly together there and or firmish. We're just going to fold it across like that, and the other side across. Make a sort of a parallel line there, and then we're just going to firmly just roll it out like that. And we've got um, some milk on standby here. We'll just dab a bit of milk on quite liberally, and then just finish it off. And when I place it down, I just put the bottom part down on the bottom, so give it a chance to. And I've got a um, bit of uh, baking paper there, so it doesn't stick onto the board. So then we'll just roll off. Okay. okay, so we're just going to roll out another one here, just to, in case I did the other one wrong. <laughs> no. But, um, so that gives you an idea what's going on here. Well, when do you ever do anything wrong, Jeffrey? Um, oh, well, you always learn by mistakes. So, so you just got to firmishly roll it out. So it's much the same as last time. So you just a liberal amount of milk on there, that's what I do anyway. And then you put the uh, tab on the bottom. Okay, so we've rolled out our spring rolls and I've uh, just got them covered up so they don't dry out. I've got a dozen out of that mixture. So I've got my fry pan on and a bit of olive oil in there, so I'm just going to put four in at a time. I do three lots of four. So I'll just. Uh, I don't want to overcrowd the fry pan. I think to try and do two lots of six would be a bit disastrous. So I'm just going to, uh, as I said on our other video, the hush puppy video, we're not fans of deep fried food, so we're just going to shallow fry these and turn them over when they brown up. And so we're using olive oil for that. These spring rolls have just about um, been finished. We're just going to take them out of the pan now and put them under the warm grill until we've finished cooking the others. Okay. This is the um, last lot of spring rolls that we're doing and they smell wonderful. So, uh, there they are, all yet. sitting under the warm griller. So we'll just save a bit of time for a little presentation. We've got some dipping sauce, uh, Asian dipping sauce. I'm going to just, uh, I'll just tell you what's in the Asian dipping sauce. Okay, so here's our spring roll for our dipping sauce. The dipping sauce consists of the sweet chilli sauce that we made the other week, which was quite hot, um, with a bit of lime juice and a bit of fish sauce and a bit of water and a bit of and a clove of garlic. So you can see it's a quite a nice dipping sauce here. So we're just going to. Uh, you can see uh, that's the end. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for that, and I hope I've inspired somebody, and uh, I'll catch you later. All the best. Bye.